a nation awakened. Protests erupt against violence towards women. India has witnessed a surge in protests against violence targeted at women. These protests highlight a deep societal problem. Women are demanding better safety and justice. They challenge patriarchal norms that normalize violence. The government has been compelled to take action. But are these actions enough? The protests signify a changing society. There is growing awareness of women's rights. People no longer accept violence against women. The protests call for a safer, equitable society. They represent a collective outcry, a demand for accountability from law enforcement and society. Legislating change. Key laws aim to protect Indian women. The Indian government has, over the years, enacted laws specifically aimed at curbing violence against women. One of the most significant is the Criminal Law Amendment Act 2013. This law was passed in response to the nationwide outrage following the horrific 2012 Delhi gang rape case. It broadened the definition of rape and introduced stricter punishments, including the death penalty in some cases. Other laws like the Protection of Women from Domestic Violence Act 2005 and the Sexual Harassment of Women at Workplace Prevention, Prohibition and Redressal Act 2013 address specific forms of violence. These legal measures demonstrate a commitment from the government to tackle the issue. However, the existence of laws alone is not enough. The effectiveness of these laws hinges on their implementation and enforcement. This is where challenges arise, often due to societal attitudes, lack of awareness, and systemic issues within the legal system itself. Beyond laws, government programs seek to empower and safeguard. Recognizing that legislation alone is insufficient, the Indian government has launched various initiatives. One such initiative is the One Stop Centres, OSCs. These centres provide integrated support to women affected by violence. Another key initiative is the Women Helpline number, 181. This toll-free number provides immediate assistance to women in distress. These programmes aim to empower women and ensure they have access to help when needed. Ground Reality implementation gaps and societal barriers persist. While the Indian government has taken steps to address violence against women, numerous challenges remain. The effectiveness of laws and programs is often hampered by gaps in implementation. Law enforcement agencies sometimes lack sensitivity in handling cases of violence against women. Judicial proceedings can be slow leading to a backlog of cases and discouraging women from seeking justice. Deep-rooted societal barriers further exacerbate the problem. Patriarchal attitudes, often ingrained from a young age, contribute to a culture of silence around violence against women. Victims often face pressure from their families and communities to not report crimes, fearing social stigma and repercussions. Furthermore, Limited access to education and economic opportunities for women can make them more vulnerable to exploitation and abuse. Addressing these complex societal issues requires a multi-pronged approach involving education, awareness campaigns and social reform. Nirbhaya and beyond landmark cases that shook India's conscience. Certain cases of violence against women have shaken India's conscience, sparking nationwide protests. The 2012 Delhi gang rape case, where Jyoti Singh, known as Nirbhaya, was brutally assaulted, became a turning point. Public outrage led to amendments in criminal law and brought women's safety to the forefront. However, such horrific incidents continue to occur. The 2018 Kathua and Unnao rape cases exposed the vulnerability of women, especially from marginalized communities. These cases remind us of the long road ahead in the fight against gender-based violence. They highlight the need for societal introspection, effective law enforcement, 
and a justice system that delivers swift and fair trials. Section 6. The Unheard Voices. Fear, Shame and the Cycle of Underreporting. A significant challenge in addressing violence against women in India is the pervasive underreporting of crimes. Many victims, due to fear, shame or societal pressure, choose not to report their experiences. This silence protects perpetrators and allows the cycle of violence to continue. The fear of social stigma is a major deterrent. Victims often worry about the repercussions on their family's reputation or their own future prospects, especially in marriage. The lack of faith in the legal system, coupled with the fear of not being believed or being blamed for the crime, further discourages reporting. Creating a safe and supportive environment for victims to come forward is crucial. This involves sensitizing law enforcement officials, providing better support systems, and challenging the societal norms that perpetuate silence around such sensitive issues. Section 7. Digital Outrage. Social media as a catalyst for change and awareness. In recent times, social media has emerged as a powerful tool in the fight against violence towards women. Platforms like Twitter, Facebook and Instagram have provided a space for women to share their stories, raise awareness and mobilize support. Hashtags like Me Too, Time's Up and others specific to India have amplified the voices of survivors and allies. Social media campaigns have played a significant role in bringing attention to cases that might have otherwise gone unnoticed. They have helped create a sense of solidarity among women, breaking down the isolation that often silences victims. The digital space has also become a platform for demanding accountability from authorities and pushing for policy changes. However, it is essential to acknowledge the limitations of social media. While it can be a powerful tool for awareness, it cannot replace the need for systemic change, effective law enforcement, and a justice system that delivers justice to survivors. Section 8. A Long Road Ahead. Bridging the Gap Between Policy and Reality. Despite the Indian government's efforts to address violence against women, a significant gap remains between policy and reality. While laws and programs exist, their implementation often falls short. This is due to various factors, including a lack of resources, societal attitudes, and systemic issues within law enforcement and the judiciary. Bridging this gap requires a multi-pronged approach. It involves strengthening law enforcement agencies, sensitizing police personnel, and ensuring swift and fair trials. It also requires addressing the root causes of gender inequality through education, awareness campaigns, and economic empowerment of women. Furthermore, it is crucial to create a culture of zero tolerance for violence against women. This involves challenging patriarchal mindsets, promoting respectful relationships, and ensuring that perpetrators are held accountable for their actions. In India,